Prince Philip dead. How did the Queen's husband Philip die? What was the cause? Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh and Queen Elizabeth II's husband, has died aged 99, the royal family announced today. How did Prince Philip die? The Duke of Edinburgh, Queen Elizabeth II's husband of more than 70 years has died. He passed earlier this morning at Windsor Castle. The royal family announced the news via a Twitter statement this afternoon. How did Prince Philip die? The royal family did not announce how the Queen's husband died in its brief statement. Posted this afternoon. They only said the Duke of Edinburgh had died peacefully at the monarch's residence. The statement adds a further announcement will come in due course. The full statement reads, It is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen announces the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Further announcements will made in due course. The royal family join with people around the world in mourning his loss. Key figures from around the world have expressed their condolences at the news. The Archbishop of Canterbury was among those leading contributions to the much-loved Duke. He said in a statement, I join with the rest of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth in mourning the loss of His Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, and give thanks to God for his extraordinary life of dedicated service. Prince Philip continually demonstrated his unfailing support and unstinting loyalty to Her Majesty the Queen for 73 years. He added, On the occasions when I met him, I was always struck by his obvious joy at life, his inquiring mind and his ability to communicate to people from every background and walk of life. He was a master at putting people at their ease and making them feel special. Piers Morgan also joined mourners on Twitter with his own statement. He said, R.I.P. Prince Philip, 99. A truly great Briton who dedicated his life to selfless public duty and was an absolute rock of devoted support to Her Majesty, the Queen, as the longest-serving royal consort to any British sovereign. A very sad day for our country. Thank you, sir. Sky News political correspondent Beth Rigby said, a life of service and duty but also of love. Prince Philip and the Queen had the most extraordinary, enduring partnership. By the Queen's side for more than seven decades, they celebrated their 73rd wedding anniversary last November. Rest in peace. The Prince traveled from Windsor, where he has lived full-time since his retirement, to London for a brief hospital stay earlier this year. Doctors admitted him as a precaution on February 16 and treated him with an abundance of caution. In a statement, Buckingham Palace said the 99-year-old was admitted due to feeling unwell. The statement said, His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh was admitted to the King Edward VII Hospital in London, on Tuesday evening. The Duke's admission is a precautionary measure, on the advice of, his, doctor, after feeling unwell. The Duke is expected to remain in hospital for a few days of observation and rest. He ultimately spent a month at hospital before his release in March. The palace released another update as they announced he had undergone heart surgery during his stay. The later statement revealed he required surgery for a pre-existing condition and a further stay to recuperate. The palace said, the Duke of Edinburgh yesterday underwent a successful procedure for a pre-existing heart condition at St. Bartholomew's Hospital. His Royal Highness will remain in hospital for treatment, rest and recuperation for a number of days.